Well, a war is erupting in Victoria's Mornington Peninsula over supermarket territory with millennial parents accusing baby boomers of being too slow at the checkout and holding them up. Some are saying that the success of the pandemic-era special shopping hours for the elderly and disabled should be brought back to make for a smoother midweek shopping experience for busy families. Well, joining me now is Baby Boomer himself and the Chief Advocate for National Seniors Australia, Ian Henschke. I mean, what do you reckon? The allegation here is um, they're all standing three abreast in the aisle talking about what cruises they've been on and they want to talk to the cashier about, I don't know, discounts on, uh, on their, their bills and all sorts of stuff. Do we need to ban the boomers, Ian? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. And look, I am right in the middle of the baby boom. I was born in 55, so I can speak for the ones above and below me. And, and I also want to tell you something very interesting about this survey. It was put in one of the newspapers down there <clears> in Melbourne. I think it was to try and stir things up a bit. Mm, but mm -hmm. I went online and I did the survey myself and it turned out that only 8% of people wanted the boomers out of the way, you know, out of the way boomer. Uh, in fact, 92% of people seem to be pretty good. And I think that's a wonderful story. So I think it's a good news story. And the other thing is that did you know that on the 7th of October... That is World Ageism Awareness Day. So I, I, think, it, I think it shows where we're getting there slowly. But on the uh, negative side, when they do do surveys amongst older people, they say, have you experienced ageism? Mm. About one in two older people uh, say that they have experienced ageism. So it's still a problem. I mean, it, it, it comes down to respect, doesn't it? Um, and, and, you know, I, I know people like to hang crap on, on boomers, oh, you own all the properties and, and whatever. But, you know, there's they, we're talking about certainly people of my generation, our grandparents here and our parents and whatever. Um, these are people worth respecting. And, 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 and you, and you. Um, people worth learning from. I mean, you, you can't just chuck everyone out of the basket because, oh, you know, they're too old or they've got too many investments properties well no look I, I look I can tell you if you if you go and have a look around that area that you're talking about as well I just had a friend that came over from uh, he calls it Frank Vegas I think was it Frankston that's on the Mornington Peninsula isn't it that's the area that's the that's the that's the area now, he's just turned 70 he's on a pension he's got very little money he has to save up for a set of tires on his car and for fuel to come over to Adelaide mm. to see his friends he can do a trip like that once or twice a year I was just this afternoon, I was just telling uh, Chris Kenny, who's in the studio here with me in Adelaide, that I was down at the Hutt Street Centre. Now, they've had a 25% increase. This is a mm. centre that helps people that haven't got enough food and yep. uh, are living it rough. Uh, they said that the, the biggest increase in the people that they're dealing with are older people. Mm. So this idea that they're all off on cruises, it's not true at all. In fact, it's one of the reasons why National Seniors has been fighting for things like an increase in Commonwealth rent assistance, because more and more older people are reaching uh, pension age without owning their own home. More and more are renting. So mm. these are some of the issues that are really out there. And I think as a society, we need to be bringing people together and saying to the government, we need affordable housing for all age groups. Yeah. Uh, and don't view uh, people that are over a certain age as being well off. In fact, around one in five pensioners in Australia is living in poverty. So it, it's actually a very big problem in Australia. And I, that's why I get back to that survey when they asked people whether you wanted those older people out of the supermarket so you could get on with your life. 92% of people were opposed to that idea. And we've only got 15 seconds, Ian, but your response to the employment white paper, which talks about the idea of pensioners being able to earn more while staying on the pension. Well, they've given a $4,000 permanent bonus uh, to that group, but if you think about it, that adds up to $11,800. That's still $1,000 mm. a month. That's still $250 uh, a week, which is about one day's work. Yep. If you want to have a decent system in Australia that's a win for everyone, you have we to have a New Zealand-style system yeah. where you let people work as much as they want and just pay tax. Indeed. Ian Henschke, thank you for your time.